you talk about you know the logic and the reasoning behind this fight? Well, you know, the thing about um, a veteran like Keith Jardine is, you, you know, he's already been through all the wars. He's already seen all the fights. And, and uh, you know, the, the battles that he's been through, uh, to me, justify and warrant the title fight with Luke Rockhold, who is an up-and-coming star, had an amazing fight with Jacare, uh, young talent. But uh, to me, in MMA, anything can happen. So I feel good about it. Keith, I'm just curious, you were through this when you fought Chuck, and I remember everybody asking all the questions. You, to hear people saying you shouldn't be in a title fight, questioning why you're getting a title fight now, what's your reaction to that? Like I said before, I, I pretty much, I, I knew that would be out there. I stayed away from the media. I, I haven't really um, looked on, on, online at my Twitter or anything, because I knew there'd be that negative energy out there. But you know what? I'll keep my language. Uh, I, I, I say screw you, whoever says that. You know, we'll see in two days who, who, who belongs in that ring or who doesn't. So, um, that's where I'm coming from right now. But no, man, everything's positive. You know, this is just an opportunity for me. I, I've, um, well, I mean, it's been a long trip to get to this point, and, and um, I'm just, I'm just th so thrilled and honored to be here. I'm, I'm, um, I'm, I'm glad that Luke, Luke took this fight. I'm pretty um, grateful for that, and uh, you know, I'm just, it's, it's all positive energy for me. Have you ever fought a uh, fight at 185, or you always been at? Uh... No, no, I ne I've never been down to 185 for since my. Uh, uh, freshman year of high school, probably. Hearing what he says and getting closer to the fight, I mean, do you feel like, uh, I know you think he's a good opponent, but do you feel like that the, your first title defense against Keith is justified as, as opposed to somebody who's won some fights in the division? Yeah, it all depends on how you look at it. <clears throat> it doesn't exactly make sense, of course, but uh, and if you look at the middleweight division, of course, Kennedy makes sense. Uh, Jock Ray's still out there. There's some... I guess some unfinished business. If I don't finish a fight, I always, I always feel like I can. I want to go back there and finish it. Uh, Jardine's a tough opponent. He's a, he's a guy that's obviously been in there with the best. So uh, it is what it is. And uh, it, from a promotional standpoint, I mean, it's it's uh, it'll look good. And, and being a guy like Keith Jardine's gonna gonna speak volumes. It's a proven guy uh, amongst top caliber opponents. So uh, uh, yeah, a lot of guys aren't you know, are. are on test or whatever in, in, in uh, strike force. So until people are familiar with, it, with beating a UFC guy, you know, it, it'll put you on the map. So I, I'm looking forward to doing that come Saturday night. And uh, I'm happy to fight Keith Jardine. Uh, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's had a long road. He's, he's fought all the guys in the UFC and, and he's done pretty well for himself outside the UFC. It's not, uh, and uh, so there's no secret he's coming towards the end of his career and, uh, and, and he's trying to fight back and he's done so well, he's done pretty well for himself after the UFC. But, uh, it's like this. It's I'm on my way up. He's on his way out, and ain't nothing gonna change come Saturday night. Uh, qu question for Keith. Oh, yeah, you, uh, I'm just getting started, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel at 185? You mentioned that you haven't been 185 since high school. So, how does how does it feel for you physically, as far as strength is concerned? Yeah, I never felt better. Um, working with Mike Dolce, the guys, the guys just incredible. Um, um, Waking up every morning, like uh, during training camp, I can't believe the energy I have. Um, I feel like I can, I'm on, I'm dieting down right now. I feel like I can go get a great work in out in right now. Usually I'm kind of lethargic on on um, on these days, but just just um, I can't say enough good things about Mike Dolce, and I just put my um, trust in him, and 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 things are working out great. And can I ask you what your weight is right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm big. <laughs> <laughs> What advantages do you see that you have over Luke aside, besides his experience? You know, I don't know about that experience. Thing. I don't know, know Luke personally. I don't know how he deals with with all the big fights, carrying the title. I don't care about any of that. Um, um, about the matchup, it was a great matchup. He's a, he's a real, um, he, he, we got um, pretty um, contradicting styles. Um, um, he, he's real clean, orthodox, and, and, and I'm, a little, um, I'm a little sloppy, a little messy. So it's going to be um, interesting to see how it uh, mixes up. Actually, I'm a southpaw. Well, I mean, orthodox. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm like, like, <laughs> and you talk kind of about reinventing yourself here in middleweight. Is that, you know, is, are you talking about just, you know, your physical body? Or are you talking about your approach, your, your mental? I mean, what, what all does that entail? Everything. My, 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 um, my body, my approach, my, my training, my style. I, I got a little too uh, predictable, a little bit too um, doing the same things over and over again. And, and so just everything's different. Like, um, um, who knows what we're going to see on Saturday, but but it's def definitely going to be a different key charting. Can you talk about you know this fight week? Uh, does it feel any different? Is it you know is there a little more attention to you this time around? What, what's what? How does this fight compare to others in terms of you know recognition and attention? 
Uh, yeah, I definitely feel the attention this fight, but a fight's a fight. I don't feel any different. I feel, if, if anything, I feel better. I feel like I'm, I'm growing and I'm getting better with every fight and every training camp. So uh, it, it feels good to have the attention and, and the push behind me. You know, the UFC is definitely promoting us. We, they put us on the live broadcast, and you're seeing I saw I got like a two-page spread in the UFC magazine. So I'm seeing some cool stuff out there. And doesn't you know, it's pretty cool to walk around and see a life-size cutout. Or, or almost life size. It's more like a, a seventy pound Luke Rockhold out there. I don't know. It's, it's kind of small, but uh, but yeah, no, it feels good. It feels good to have the push behind me, and uh, I, I look forward to, to bigger and better things. For this fight, since you're going to be uh, going down in weight, how has it changed? What do you what do you how are you dealing with that? Um, well, I don't I don't want to bore everybody with, with the specifics, but um, the main thing thing with with the Dolce is um, you just cut out all the supplements. Um, um, no, the protein, the the, the, the um, aminos, all that. Just cut it all out and just get everything, getting everything from Whole Foods and and uh, and a lot more carbs, fruits, vegetables, things like that. It's just I've always eaten good, but but never this good. And, and it's fun and easy, and and um, it's definitely changed my life. Given how well you say you feel at 185, is this a move that you wish you had made sooner in your career? Um, yeah, you could say that, but um, but. Um, no, I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't change anything in my career because it, it's brought me to this point right here, and um, and I'm very happy and comfortable r right where I'm at. So, so you, even the bad things I, I wouldn't change. But um, but uh, so there you go. How much do you think you're going to be better this time around, given the fact that you know now you've been in the cage and been fighting as opposed to being out and injured? I always expect to be better. Uh, I, I, I'm not that big of a believer in rust. I, don't, I think it's all about how you train for a fight. And uh, at AK, we spar really hard three days a week, and, and I get the butterflies going into every fight. And, and it's just the sparring and preparing, and uh, I think it's, it's more in your head when, when uh, you believe in the rust. But I expect to be better every fight, and, and I am better. I've corrected a lot of mistakes I made in the Jock Ray fight. I was, I was a little uh, over-anxious to, to get at him. I don't think I respected his stand-up enough. And I came forward and I got caught a couple times and uh, you won't see that kind of stuff in this fight. I, you know, I, I respect Keith's stand-up and uh, I'm going to pick my shots, I'm going to sit down on my shots and, and uh, I'm going to look to finish the fight. I feel pretty good, been training pretty hard and a uh, little banged up, just probably like everyone else, anyone who trains hard and trains five days a week as hard as we do is going to be a little banged up, but I feel pretty good. You have a history of fighting at a lower weight class, I know you've had kind of some mixed results as of late. Have you ever considered the potential of fighting at welterweight again, or is that something that's impossible for you at this point? Uh, nothing's impossible. Uh, I thought about it. I talked to my training partners, what they thought about it, but um, I'm fighting at 185 on Saturday, so that's what I'm worried about. Uh, can't really, uh, can't really tell what will happen uh, at this point. But I'm very honored and happy that I'm fighting uh, Robbie Lawler because he's a legend. He has a good name, and uh, and we will put a nice show for everyone. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think he's a really good fighter. Uh, a lot of people don't know who he is, but I've watched tape on him. He's explosive. He's strong. He's uh, got ground game. Uh, really good striking so he's explosive and should we should put on a pretty good show do you feel like this is your the biggest step up in competition for you oh yeah this this is this is definitely the, the biggest fight of my career and uh, in camp leading up to this fight how did how did you deal with that is it more pressure um no you know it, I, it's weird because I, I felt like there's more pressure you know with me headlining the last my, my last challengers card than than this fight you know Mo, your opinion on on Lorenz and, and uh, is he is he a step up in competition for you? How do you feel about that? Uh, as far as the Shaolin master uh, Lorenz, you know, uh, man, he's an unorthodox fighter, man. I ain't never fought nobody like him before, and uh, I'll put him up there with everybody else I fight. You know what I'm saying? He's that he's at that he's at that level. You know what I'm saying? I can't overlook him just because he fought on challenges. Challenges brought out you know what I'm saying Luke Rockhold. You know what I'm saying? So I can't overlook nobody. I'm, I'm have to smash. I have to smash him. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't let him get his rhythm going. I'm gonna put them things on them. Can you talk about what a victory over King Mo would mean for your career? Ah, uh, it, it exploded my career. You know, um, that uh, put me in title contention. Or this is title contention, but you know, that, that, I believe that put me in the fight against Musasi. You know, for the for the light heavyweight belt. A guy with 30 <laughs> fights under his belt. What does what does this fight mean for you in your career? means a lot. It's my next fight, so it's my biggest one. And uh, it means a lot to me because 
Uh, he's a he's a strong wrestler, and I have something to prove to myself. And, and yeah, I wanna I wanna put on a good show and entertain for everybody. You talked a little bit about having something to prove. What what is that exactly? Uh, just you know that I can I can uh, beat all the top guys, and I can uh, I think I deserve to be in there with all the best guys, and that's what I'm proving to myself. And and I'm gonna do that on Saturday. Um, it just really brings excitement to the fight. You know, you think about, you know, fighting, going from fighting the top 10 guy and Paul Daly um, to fighting the Jordan Mean guy. If you don't do your research and you know who this kid is, you can kind of think it's a backtracking. But um, I remember that hunger. I remember that youth, you know, the one to knock off a top guy. And that's something that gets me excited because um, sometimes guys that come out with fireworks, they bring it out in you. So I think you guys, are, um, you know, see a great card. You know, we haven't been asked a ton of questions, but we have the potential to put on the best show on this card. So um, I think, um, you know, with, with the kid that I know is going to come out there and fight, and he's done it every time, you know, he just he just makes you relive that passion that originally got you into it. And that's what's going to take me to get to the championship and stay there.